Hey guys, what's up? It's Christine Seal, the High Level Queen. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up an SMS auto responder similar to the five text short codes that you see to bring people into your funnel, especially from Clubhouse. Clubhouse is really hot right now, it's really hopping guys. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up so that you can bring people into your funnel and automatically grab their phone numbers. So let's get started. So for those of you guys who don't know, we actually have a free Facebook group called Marketing Agency Automation Secrets, where we give away hundreds of dollars in free trainings every single week to our members. So click the link below to go check that out. Okay, so guys, this is what I'm gonna show you how to do, uh, how to set up this text 50K to this number to get started, and then put them in an autoresponder and get them into your CRM, okay? So this is uh, my Clubhouse funnel. And if you haven't checked out Clubhouse yet, you guys totally should do that because it's amazing. There's some amazing people on there. Uh, but this is what it's going to look like when we're done. Okay. So what you need to do first, step one is, uh, I'm using high level and you guys can get a free 14 day trial using the link below, but this is an all in one marketing platform that you can do two way text, uh, email, you can manage your leads. So it's a lead management system, CRM, scheduler, all in one. Okay. So step one, after you already have an account, you're going to create a phone number. Now I recommend doing, if you have several phone numbers already, you can get a new phone number for a dollar a month. So you're going to add a phone number and you're just going to choose your area code and then do a search and then pick the number. Okay. So that's step one, super easy, all right? And then step two, you're gonna create your text campaign, okay? So what you're gonna do here, this depends on your offer, right? So you ideally, you wanna have some kind of funnel or offer set up for people to come into from Clubhouse or wherever your funnel is, okay? Uh, wherever you're trying to capture their information. So uh, if you already have your offer set up, or even if you don't, you're going to need to figure that out first. But what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to create a text, and this is going to be a reply. Okay, so this reply can say something like, um, hey, so you want to see our, and then like insert offer here that we use to insert result here. Okay. So this is up to you, like your results. Um, and then like reply opt out to unsubscribe. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you do that because if you don't, you're going to get banned by Twilio. They are cracking down hard. Okay. So, uh, that's the first one. And I typically have that going out like right away because like even if you wait one minute they might forget or it might be too long of time all right so this is the first text and again this is a five part thing okay um and then uh i i always do positive intent on this first one because you get fewer spam complaints that way um then your positive intent is going to be the second one and then you can say like, cool, you can check it out here. Okay. And then link goes here.com. All right. Okay. Now you're, again, you're going to have to publish this and, or uh, change this and make it your own. Okay. So I've got the campaigns set up. All right. Now, um, step three, you're going to want to come up with a short code. And I would say it needs to be a code that people are not going to just randomly, uh, randomly text you, right? So like avoid things like price, cost, um, common phrases that your audience asks, is, asks you, you're going to want to avoid that. So um, for mine, uh, mine is 50K because we made 50K uh, in a week, all right? So Minus 50K, no one's ever going to text me randomly 50K. I was pretty confident in that. But also, if you have your own phone number set up for this purpose, you won't have to be as picky about the short code. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, 
so step three again is the short code. Uh, mine's 50K. Um, just decide on that. If you need to pause it and think about it for a second and come back, that's totally cool. Um, and then step four, we're gonna create our trigger for this, okay? So we'll go ahead and create a trigger. And this trigger is going to say, customer replied, okay? Now, uh, the filters that you can do here, we are going to do reply channel, SMS, and then we're gonna do uh, contains phrase. And then this is your phrase that you came up with in step three. Okay, and then this is where you set your phone number. So you can say like end phone number right there. Okay, so if you wanna limit it to that one phone number in your funnel, you just have to add a filter for that, okay? Um, and then what we're gonna do next, this is our first trigger, okay? Uh, we can also in here, what we can do is we can add them to a campaign. And then this is the campaign that we just set up, all right? Then uh, also it's a really good idea, and I always, I teach this to my students as well, but um, it's a good idea to add them into a pipeline, okay? So uh, whatever your offer is, uh, what we do is we set up a new pipeline for each offer so we're not confused, and then texted, okay? So I'm adding them in the pipeline, and then the source, I'm gonna say Clubhouse, okay? So um, that's the first trigger. And then the second trigger is gonna be the positive intent trigger, okay? So what we're gonna do next is create a second trigger. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say uh, when the customer replies to the first campaign, which was AA test one, uh, then what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna do intent type is positive. Okay, so that's how you do the positive intent. So if they say, yes, yeah, sure, cool, awesome, they're gonna get put into this next one, okay? And then here on the right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add them into the next campaign for the positive intent, which is, the second one I showed you, the second campaign I showed you. And then you can also move them in the pipeline here. Wrong one, move them in the pipeline to um, text and positive intent. And then the source is again, it's Clubhouse, whatever your source is, okay? And then you save it, all right? Then how you throw this all together, all right? Step five is always test, always, always, always test. So what you're gonna do to test this is you are going to text your keyword to your phone number from your phone and then see if you get an auto reply, okay? So if I go in here and um, I get my phone out and I send a text, Two. And actually, I've already tested this from my cell phone. Um, so I'm going to use my Google Voice number. Especially if you have, uh, if you have allow multiple turned off, which you probably want to do after you get done testing, so that they don't get it multiple times. Um, if you have allow multiple turned off, you can't test it again unless you go back and remove yourself. So uh, I'm going to send a text message to myself with 50K, all right? Okay, so I just sent a text to myself. I'm gonna go over into conversations and boom, I got entered into this and you can see that I also got put into, um, I guess you can't see the campaigns on the screen, but it's all good. Um, so I'm gonna say yes. I'm click here, you can see. All right, so I said yes. And then it added me into this positive intent campaign, okay? So I know it's working. 
Uh, and then if I go over into my pipeline, uh, you can see that positive intent here. Now, um, you're not going to get their name uh, or their email unless they like come into your funnel and, and put in their information or unless you ask them for it. Um, but for me, like I, I want to keep it as simple as possible with the least amount of friction. So if I have their phone number, I can market to them again, right? So that's why I don't really care about that. If they're interested, they will put in their information into my funnel. So hope this helps you guys to set up your own text to SMS numbers and go find me on Clubhouse at Christine Seal for more digital agency tips, tricks, and automations. And we host regular rooms. So go find me over there. So you get notified next time we go live on Clubhouse and I'll see you guys next time. Uh -huh.